Well, this headline is potentially new hope for the millions of people living with Alzheimer's disease and their families. Researchers now say vitamin E could help slow its progression. Alzheimer's is the most common type of dementia in this country. About 5 million Americans have it. Dr. Devi is an assistant professor of anesthesiology and rehabilitation at the NY School of Medicine. Nice to have you in, Dr. Devi. Why vitamin E? Well, vitamin E, it's an antioxidant, and it also has some effect on nerves, so we think that it might help that way with Alzheimer's. I mean, the hardest thing about treating Alzheimer's is that because we don't have a cure, uh, all we can do is try to help with the symptoms, to so try to make things easier for the patient and for the caregivers who are taking care of them. So in this study with vitamin E, it's really kind of a breakthrough study because it shows that from mild to moderate Alzheimer's, you know, in the early stages, that it can be very effective. Now, it's interesting how they did this study. About 600 veterans, all men, yeah. in their late 70s, and they divided it into four groups. One that took vitamin E, one that took an anti-dementia drug, yeah. one that took nothing, and then one that took vitamin E and the dementia drug together. And interestingly, yeah. it was the one that took just the vitamin E that showed the most progress. What do you yeah. think about that? Well, that was the most surprising part because I would have expected that the people who were taking both would have the best effect. You think you could double up, you get better results, Exactly, right? yeah, usually. And that drug that they were using, it's called memantine. It has several studies that support it. So we're not sure exactly what happens, but maybe somehow they work through the same pathway in the brain and then one is neutralizing the other. Not sure, but it's actually a little bit better in the sense that vitamin E is a little bit more accessible to people than a prescription drug. So it might be easier for people to use. You know, I'm glad you brought that up because we've done a few stories over the last several weeks where there have been questions raised about vitamins in general, yeah. especially because they're not heavily regulated by the FDA, some not regulated at all. So yeah. there's differing opinions on whether or not they're very helpful or not and what you're actually taking. Of course. How do you see that? Well, in this case with vitamin E, what they were using was prescription strength, so they were using 2,000 units per day. So that makes it a little bit easier in terms of uh, you would go to your doctor and you would get a prescription and then go forward that way. Um, one reason that it is prescription strength and why you would definitely want to see the doctor is because especially with vitamin E, there are a lot of negative side effects. So it can interact with your other medications. It can cause more bleeding. I'm glad you brought that up because I'm sure there's some people out there that think, well, heck, maybe I'll start taking vitamin E now yeah. just, just in case I have Alzheimer's in my family, for example, maybe I should take it. Or maybe I'm suffering from this and this is something I should start on. What advice do you have for them? Well, I would say to hold off because there's not really a lot of evidence that vitamin E helps prevent Alzheimer's. It tends to help with symptoms once you already have it. And actually it can help for people who, if they're concerned about other things besides memory, just being able to care for themselves, avoiding a nursing home, it can be helpful there. But for people, a lot of people in this age group might already be on blood thinners, let's say aspirin. They might be taking ibuprofen or other things for pain. They might be on something called Plavix for their heart. So if you're on those medications and you take something that also works like a blood thinner, then you have a lot more risks. And if you're kind of in the stage where you're having some symptoms, you might fall or something else. If you fall and then you start bleeding and you already are on one of these drugs, it can cause more of a problem. So my advice is not to take it to try to prevent this problem, but if you have it, then talk to the doctor early and see if you can start it. Some good advice and as you said, might be a breakthrough here for Alzheimer's. We'll see. Dr. Debbie, great to see you. Oh, great to see you, Thank too. Thank you very much. Thank you. John?